All right. Now each of you will take a moment to explain your midterm reports. Flora, will you start us off, please? Our report on the magical dimensions, oh, the Flora. world... Oh, uh -huh. Flora. Uh, don't read. Explain it in your own words. Well, I went to magics, which stands at the crossroads of all the magic dimensions. We've and been invited to a location, Halloween party tonight in Gardenia. Oh, what? Very important. The magic energy flows right through it. You know, Halloween. And jack o lantern and scary costumes. Spreads oh. out. I went to interview this very ancient tree and, um... The Halloween well, parties tonight with scary lanterns and a game of jacks. Old. Opposite magics, hmm. we've got the wildlands. In that area, magic energy is at an absolute minimum. Hey, so there's this cool guy named Jack who's throwing a scary wings party tonight. At Althea, fairies learn to use their powers in a positive and creative hey, way. Scary party with cool guys and there's virtually everyone wants power. to see the wings. Which is a school where witches use magic to be destructive rather than do good. The specialists are there to hmm. balance things between the schools, deal with that wildland place, and of course date us gorgeous fairies. A party is being thrown for the wings by virtually every cool guy. It's gonna be scary. Huh? A virtual <gasps> party? In a scary sub-zero computer-generated world, that's like uh, um, such a great idea. Techno, I hear you have a party to go to. But first, you'll write up a report. A report of at least 100 pages on my desk tomorrow morning. <laughs> Darling? Great, I'm going to a pumpkin party tonight. Oh, I am overjoyed. Let's go, you can come too. Uh, Livy. Huh? There is a... a dark shadow over you. Hmm? I don't see it. Now come on, let's go, let's go, let's go! <gasps> no! The cards say a horrid fate awaits the traveler. Caravan, travelers on a journey. The sun is low, travelers are youthful. <gasps> the frightened fawn! Danger hangs over the traveler's head. <gasps> the three faceless sisters, that means wickedness, suffering, or betrayal. My fairy and pixie friends. <gasps> Do not go to the party, a cruel trick awaits. You will not be able to tell truth from lies. Come on, girls, Gardenia's waiting. Thank you for the prophecy, Jolly. The three sisters could be the tricks. But then again, why would they ever go to Gardenia? Right, so let's just worry about having fun tonight. Even though in Gardenia only little kids can see, please try to stay out of trouble. Promise! Wow, did your friend invite the whole city? No. Halloween is an international party, but there are also private parties like the one we're going to. And everybody wears a costume. Tarot cards! Come on, come on! My tarot cards will reveal your destiny. Holy! Amateur! <laughs> uh, bad manners! Come on, boy. What you barking at? There's nothing there. Come on! Does your friend know we're coming? Well, Mitzi isn't exactly a friend, but she did say you guys could come along. Of course, if she has any <laughs> Oh, you made it back in town. Hello, Mitzi. And so these must be your new friends, then? Yes, let me introduce you to the Winks. Hello. The party is at 8 o'clock. Try not to look so scruffy, all right? Oh. 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 Speak for yourself. Yeah, really. Was that blue top tacky or what? Hey, let's not worry about Mitzi, all right? A party is a party. Luma, is that a costume? Hey, I'm the real one. This one's kind of hard to explain, Lockett. I don't get it! Compared to this, Cloud Tower is warm and fuzzy. You sure this is the right place? Yeah, we're nearly there. Oh, it's so cold. Hello, Flora. Huh? Huh? A black cat just spoke to me. 
Laura, you're letting this place get to you. The three sisters are getting close. I can just feel it. Come on, Jolly. We're supposed to be having fun. <gasps> that sculpture. What a beautiful face. Here we oh. are. <gasps> this is the house. Wow. Just like that video game, Resident Evil Doom 2. <laughs> There will be dancing, right? You guys hear that? Listen up! Ha! Ah, artificial noises! Bring a bone huh? white mask. Bring a bone white mask. Who's that? Are you fake too? Ah, let's go home! Huh? This house is about to fall apart. I know. Friends, here's my invitation. Please, come in. Uh, very nice costume. I'm not a party guest. I'm at Mitzi's service. Whoops. Please. So dark. Hello, hot stuff. If you're not feeling well, come and see me. I'm a doctor, you know. Yes, well, doctor, you're the one making me feel queasy. Ha! Huh, maybe you'd rather be in the hands of my assistant, the nurse. Hey, how did this trash get in here? Um, is Mitzi around? What if she was? You really think she'd give you the time of day? As if Mitzi would waste her time chatting up little girls like you. Oh, Mitzi! I wish I could carry myself like her. Huh? Oh no! The CD's skipping! <gasps> you loser! <gasps> Get out! I never want to see your face again! Got it? <clears throat> Loom, I'm so glad you came. Isn't this dress marvelous? Oh yeah, it's really something else. Something else? What kind of compliment is that? Aren't these sparkles dazzling? I had them custom made, but they cost me a fortune. Now, speaking of costumes, I find yours very disappointing. I told you to wear something elegant. This is a party, not a funeral. Sweetie, put on your sunglasses. And why should I? <gasps> you make your wings they look so real that's a secret i would so love to wear something like that just once in my life it beats series 2902 thermic optic camouflage would you like me to go and dim the lights a little bit no you just mess it up and anyway i've got a plan to scare them all right out of their half wits <laughs> She'll read this pumpkin's future. Oh. Huh? Oh. Hey, look! It's you! <laughs> oh, oh, no! The three sisters will appear and totally ruin the party! Our guests are thirsty. Take care of it. Isn't he cute? He's even more mysterious than Helia. You know, there's nothing with Helia. Don't worry, I'll do the introduction. No, wait! Hey, how are you doing? So, uh, where are you from? Romania. Nice party, huh? Care for a Screaming Mary? It's a vampire special. Hmm. Thanks. Can't stand vampires. 
Oh, Mitzi's friends are very boring. They're also antisocial. Well, who am I going to give this drink to then? I guess I could use it as a good excuse to meet someone new. Hi there, my name is Bloom. Care for a drink? Leave me alone. Huh? That worked real well. Oh! Oh, sorry about your dress. You know, nothing stains like a screaming Mary. Mitzi! Hmm? Your drinks are great. It'd be a shame to spill one. Huh? Her eyes are red, red like blood. Her face is crawling with maggots, crawling with maggots. Whoever's touch shall also perish, perish horribly. Her face is crawling with maggots. <laughs> hey, up? Did you just see some strange girls back there? Relax, Jolly. They're just Mitzi's boring friends with costumes on. They think they're so cool. Ha! She's talking to herself. This is what happens when you hang out with Bloom too long. We'll soon be facing our doom. I can feel it. Hungry is what I feel. Huh? Shh. Who are you? Just your friendly neighborhood cake delivery guy. Here you go. Enjoy! Cake? Of course, my dear. These are very, very special cakes. Pumpkin cakes made especially for Mitzi's party. Wanna see? Offer her one. Which pumpkin would you like? This one here? <laughs> hmm. Oh. Oh. Oops. I guess you picked the earwax flavored one. Boy, is she pathetic or what? <laughs> oh, you're off me! Out of my way! Jolly, are you sure that was such a good idea? You're absolutely right, Evie. I should have made them fight her. Digit, this crack worries me. I don't think the structure of this house is very sound. What I find odd is that the crack originates from this picture. Three faceless girls. Just like Jolly's prophecy. Let's warn the others. I don't like this Three Sisters stuff. If it's the tricks, we could be in trouble. Tecna, was the crack you saw like this one over here by any chance? Hey, this crack starts from behind a picture, too. Renovated 15 times in 20 years, the mystery of Silent Villa. After each renovation, the house seems to age by 50 years in a matter of months. No construction worker will go near the place anymore, reports the foreman. But the house is haunted! I guess that would explain all the squeaks we've been Bloom, hearing. Quick! Mitzi's ill. She asked for your help. Oh, Mitzi, oh, what happened? Oh, I saw them. All three of them. Then? They're still alive. The, the mirror. Mitzi saw the three evil sisters who used to live in this house over a hundred years ago. There was an article about it in the paper, about how their adorable younger sister was murdered when someone tried to demolish the house. A fourth sister? Yep. It says here that in order to avenge her death, the three sisters made a deal with some witches who then turned their clothes to blood. And the three sisters haven't been heard from since. Techna, I saw one in the yard! Well, then why didn't you report it? But I thought it was a prank! So Mitzi saw it them. It is said that when the three sisters come to announce the return of the youngest one, mirrors will shatter as they walk by them. And that's what happened. They must be pretty ugly then, huh? Stella... Hmm, so that mirror... Yes, the three sisters were here. And if ever the fourth sister returns... Oh! <laughs> What's going to happen then? She has blood-red eyes, wears a bone-white mask, and a dreary dress. <gasps> they say her gaze is petrifying, and whoever looks her in the eye is all but doomed. Bloom, you're the only one who can help me. You've got to stop her. The fourth sister wants revenge. I just know it. We'll help you, Mitzi. I promise. <laughs> oh. Huh? Oh. Why is everyone so worked up? What happened? Oh, great, another friendly guy. Hey, check out the mirrors! They all broke at once, each and every single one of them. It must be a sign. 
Yes, and I picked up the presence of four ghost-like entities. Four? Guys, look at the picture. <gasps> it's the fourth sister. Everyone stay put. This is dangerous. Winx, follow me. <gasps> Come on, everyone stay close. Oh, I cannot stand the dark. <gasps> Come on, it's just a pumpkin. On and up and on oh, and... Stella, we're not supposed to use magic on Earth. Besides, you're spoiling the element of surprise. <gasps> Hang on a second. <gasps> There's someone over there. It looks like a skeleton. Just a rake. <gasps> Someone could trip over this. She wears her own white mask. Her oh. eyes are red, red like blood. Oh. Her face is crawling with maggots. <gasps> crawling with maggots. Whoever is touched shall oh. also perish. Careful, girls. Now we know what we're dealing with. <laughs> <laughs> what a devilish prank. <laughs> The three sisters did exist, but the rest I came up with. Now everyone, take a pumpkin and get into position. It's time for the grand finale. <laughs> Over there. I just saw some lights. Of course you did. I'm right here. The stars of our party aren't too bright, huh? She wears a dreary dress. Her eyes are red, red like blood. Hmm, perfect. Full power! <laughs> She carries herself. It's a joke. Oh, you are a witch. I see. She does have a maggot face. Oh, come on. Admit it. You were scared out of your wits. <laughs> <laughs> Pathetic. What is it again you call yourselves? The wink? Mitzi? I mean... If you saw a real ghost, you'd completely lose it. <laughs> Sweetie, she's right behind you. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> a ghost! Huh? It's a real ghost. There's nothing under the sheet. <gasps> Despite your prophecy, the evening ended on the right note. My mission is not to understand destiny, but to point out the possibility of a gloomy future. And Stella shed light on the whole thing! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has a dark side. Hey, thanks for thinking of me. This party rocks. 